the sun, a massive hot ball of glowing gases at the center of our solar system, and a million Earths can fit into it. And this star is also the source of all heat on this planet. Put anything in the sunlight and after a while it starts to get warmer. Just think of how hot your car gets after baking in the parking lot. So, there's this one universal truth we all subscribe to. Nothing you leave in the sun ever gets colder, right? Well, that used to be the case, but not anymore. That is, if we can believe these men who claim that they have found a way to cool things down by simply putting it in direct sunlight. It sounds like science fiction, but it's not. I saw it with my own eyes. Gadi Grotas and his friend Yaron Shener from Tel Aviv are responsible for a staggering new invention that could change the world as we know it. They have developed a radical new material that can be used to coat objects and buildings. And this material is unique in the way that uh, when it is exposed to the sun, it is actively cooling itself below the temperature that surrounds it. So you can think of it as a thin layer of ice uh, that gets cooler and gets thicker as the sun gets stronger. And this is what the material that cools like ice looks like. It all started a few years ago when Shenov was completing his master's studies in optical engineering. One summer day he was in a hot lecture room. And the air conditioning was working very poorly, really. And I was beginning to wonder to myself, you know, about uh, the meaning of cold and the meaning of hot and the deep meaning of the atoms inside and how do they behave in these kind of situations. And I throw in all this, some of the stuff that I learned and I come to realize that, you know what, maybe we can actually cool materials by light. This was a revolutionary idea and he immediately followed up on it. And I began to uh, search it a little bit online on the internet and I saw it. And I saw somebody has already thought about it before me and it's called uh, laser cooling of solids. And uh, I said, okay, so that's, that's nice. You, are, you have a, a good mind for that, but somebody has already uh, beat you to, to the race on that. Laser cooling is a well-established phenomenon and has long been used to cool materials down by hundreds of degrees. A laser, like sunlight, usually heats objects, and when intense enough, it can even cut materials like steel. However, if a laser with a specific frequency is directed at a specially engineered material, it can have the opposite effect. It causes the material to lose more energy than it absorbs, and so, cooling it down. It is widely used in physics, where exceptionally low temperatures are required. It is called laser cooling, or anti-Stokes fluorescence cooling. When Shenov discovered this, he was disappointed. So I, I, I neglected the, the idea for, uh, for several years, but it always was in, in my mind, you know, this magic of cooling by light. However, one big problem with laser cooling is that it requires an inordinate amount of energy to achieve the cooling effect. After university, Shenov kept on toying with the idea of cooling by light. And I begin to think about, you know what, maybe we could do this, this cooling not by laser, but actually with the sun, which is free. So we not consume energy for that. We can actually cool freely. I thought this could happen, and nobody did that before me, so I was happy about that. He shared the idea of cooling things just with sunlight with his friend, Gadi Grotas. Grotas at first did not understand how it could work. So I investigated a bit, and after a week, I still didn't understand how it's working. So it took me a while, but yeah, I understood it's something crazy. Yeah, something very unique, something that can hopefully will change the world one day. They then approached one of the leading specialists in laser cooling with this crazy idea, a professor Guy Ron. He invited them to the university. And we met uh, with them, I think it was December 2013. And, and you know, he did, did some simulation on, on the computer, he listened to us, we exchanged some thoughts and he said, you know what, you're right. This could really work. Shenov and Grotas resigned their day jobs and with Professor Ron started to pursue their dream full time. After two years, they came up with a material consisting of two layers that actually cools down when the sun shines on it. And what's more, they also found the more intense the sun, the colder the material gets. They were able to prove this conclusively. It, it happened, uh, the final report was uh, three months ago. 
and we prove the theory of the anti-Stokes phenomena can be done with a broad uh, radiation, not just with a uh, mon monochromatic laser. The substance they created can also be manipulated to control the rate of cooling in sunlight. Their material is very versatile and can easily be adapted for specific purposes. It can be a liquid or a solid and can even be in the form of fibers. They decided to start with paint. They want to coat structures and roofs with a paint and so cool buildings without air conditioning. The reason? Air conditioning uses an incredible amount of energy. Our vision is to eliminate all ACs in the world. It consumes a lot of energy and of course costs a lot of money and pollute our world as well. So we, we want to eliminate that. For example, in the US, air conditioners consume more electricity in a single day than the whole of Africa. Shenev and Grotas imagine a different world. All the houses will have our technology on the rooftops. We'll have a decrease of 60% of the electricity consumption. You know, the, the huge, huge impact there. And because it is so versatile, this technology can be used to cool down virtually anything, even off the grid, because it only requires energy from the sun. Planes, cargoes on ships, tents in the desert, buildings, aerospace, space, there is a problem in space for satellites, to cool the satellites because there is no air in space. So our technology works with light, so it's perfect over there. If you park your car in the sun, the, the more the sun will shine on it, the colder your car will get. So you will enter your car after long hours in the sun and you will feel nice and comfy inside. This is what will happen. And any container painted or coated with their invention will become an extremely effective cooler box in the sun. And I have a vision for Africa because there is a lot of places without a grid over there. And our technology is definitely can cool under the sun. So I, I know there is a problem for children to go to school because the school is too warm. They can't sit out in the classes. Buildings and roofs coated with their paint will ensure cool classrooms without the school having to be near any electricity grid. Their material can also be combined with fabrics to create garments that will cool down in the sun, not only for sports, but also for military purposes. But the big question with new technology always is, how long will it take for this invention to reach the market? We believe that hopefully a couple of years, two years time, we go to, to sell our products. Yeah, you can go to your, to your local uh, wood shop or where you're buying all, all the equipment you need to the house and buy two buckets of paint, paint the house and that's it. You're good to go for the next 10, 15 years. <laughs>